you have arrived. And I thought, well, we could spend one night in the lighthouse. And then I looked at the prices. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we are at the Nubble Lighthouse in Maine. Now we can't actually go to it, as you can see. <laughs> There's no, no way to get across. It is a little treacherous out here. So if if you're a little uh, unsteady <laughs> on the feet, like I am usually during, after a few hours of walking, then you probably don't want to come out here. But if you take a look straight across, you can see tons of birds. And they give a new meaning to the term white cliffs, if you know what I mean. Now the Nebu Lighthouse, known as Cape Nebuk Lighthouse Station, is owned by the U.S. Coast Guard. It was erected in 1879 by the United States Lighthouse Service to protect mariners from the Savage Rock. Now they do have handicap parking available as you see here. And ample parking for non-handicapped as well. Now if you look really close, you can see what well, looks like a, almost like a tram of some sort, which is how they get supplies and I would guess, maybe even people, but for the most part supplies across. And that's what one of these cables are for, coming straight across. And the other, of course, are the electric and phone lines. I would really hate to be the person who has to work on those lines. Whoa. Now the University of New Hampshire uses Nubble as a training site and has a robust scientific diving program where students, faculty, and staff use scuba to conduct underwater research experiments. Researchers from many institutions along the Gulf of Maine have used the Nubble waters because of the ease of shore diving and the high diversity of marine life under the surface. Now there are several walking trails that are easy walks and some paths that are not quite so easy. You choose.